Uh, big news, boys. Big news. I'm trans. For me into a motherfucking day. Look at this shit. I haven't lost since 19. Oh shit. I haven't lost since 1963. God damn, I'm on a roll. Holy fuck. Yeah, hey, uh, welcome back, everybody. Actually, before I get into anything, an update on the pass route giveaway. I've given a pass to everybody except for these two people. I'm getting it figured out with this guy right now, but this guy, I don't know where the hell this guy went. Um, I DM'd him. I even commented on one of his YouTube videos uh, to hit me up and send me his SCID link. Because uh, I friend him. He's not accepting my SCID friend request. I haven't friended on my. Uh, Oh, I made a count on the normal link, but I don't have a friend on the Super ID link. And I need a friend of on SCID to be able to give him the pass route. So, uh, I need that guy to hit me up. Because I hit him up twice already. And, uh, he, he's nowhere to be found, bro. He's nowhere to be found. And uh, hopefully he didn't die. And, uh, I'm on the new phone, the iPhone 13. First time playing Clash on the iPhone 13. Kind of the same, except I don't have a home button, which feels very weird. Where the hell did my home button go? How do I take screenshots? But you know what's weirder? This chest right here, this pink chest. What is that? I actually have no idea. I actually don't know what that is. I don't know what it gives me. I have a sneaking suspicion, because I don't really look at Clash Royale stuff too much. The only really way I get, like, details about updates and stuff is uh, if it so happens to pop by my Twitter page. But I've not seen anything about this chest, so uh, I decided I want to open it. And also, one more funny thing, right when I got the chest, it automatically opened. I didn't have to queue it, like this chest. It just opened, like, there was no wait time, it was weird. Oh, is this a fortune chest? Did they just redesign the fortune chest? Alright, screw it, we're gonna open it. Boom! What do we get? Huh. The fuck is that? That was anticlimactic. I thought, I thought it was gonna be like a really rare chest. It'll give me like four champions and 36 legendaries. Oh, never mind. There goes that. Anyhow, let's do some ladder. I'm getting closer to the ultimate champion, which I still haven't got to yet in this season because I don't really feel like pushing ladder. I don't know why. I'm kind of losing a lot of interest in this game. I'll be honest, the last like couple months, maybe, I've been just trying to find interest in this game from doing other stuff, such as like mini series and stuff. Game kind of getting stale, not gonna lie. But then again, that's kind of how everything goes. If you play too much of it, it's gonna get old. Like right now, I don't know why, but I'm getting kind of addicted to Geometry Dash. And I'm beating hella demons. Clapping the shit out of them demons, by the way. The platformer demons are fun. Insane demons feel like easy demons. It's crazy. But now the point is, I've been playing this game for so damn long. Like over seven years. Uh, I pretty much beat this game. I have so many ladder finishes. Not to suck my dick. So many world tournament finishes. I've pretty much beaten this game. So I'm kind of I'm kind of getting like, I'm growing out of it now. The only reason why I granted badges and stuff in the past is because it looks so cool on my profile. But they just changed it. They just revamped it. Now it looks ugly as shit. And I know that's like the most petty thing to grind for. Just, just like a little decoration on your profile. But... Bro, I was into that shit. That was the only reason why I wanted to grind. Bah. Aw, oh, shit, he read me like a book. Oh, yeah, also, I'm playing this, like, very, very late season. So, you're gonna see a lot of these level 14 players. Uh, and I'm fully maxed, so I should be able to cruise through all these people. Bro, this feels so smooth. I wonder if it looks smoother. It just... I've been with an iPhone 8 for, like, the past, what, five years of my life or something like that. And, uh, this new phone is so smooth. What the hell? I feel so spoiled. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Wait, I can't even see the level of that mini peg on oh, gonna arrow. Okay. They should fix that shit where you can't see the level of a troop. Or the health of a troop, for that matter, if it's in front. Yeah, they got they gotta fix that shit, but that's I gotta be a bug or something. That's fucked up. I remember that was also a weird interaction with like the miner if you place out a certain area where you can't like see the health of the tower. Die die. He's gonna have a fireball probably. Or lightning. Wow, he's gonna sack that. What the hell? Oh wow, okay. If he does have, like, a freeze or a fire... Okay, that's not gonna do anything good. Fucking love that interaction. That arrows doesn't kill evil archers. My god. Good game. Anyhow, you guys might be wondering, Hey, Austin, why have you been uploading consistently the last, like, what? Like, last half a month, maybe? I've been very on and off. I've been very on and off the last couple of months. Uh, and the reason for that is because... I don't know. It has nothing really to do with motivation or anything, but it's just like my sleep schedule has been so fucked up. But I really think that it's mainly the fact that uh, I've kind of just, I've added my second channel to my bucket list, and that does take a good amount of time, and they're mostly related to Geometry Dash, unfortunately. Bro, I just quit that game as well, and then a stupid ass 2.2 update came out, which actually made the game kind of fun with the platformer mode. But y'all best believe 2024, I'm getting back on track. Fuck! I just made a Geometry Dash reference, and he has a Furl Tower, even worse. What I can promise you is that this channel will always be primarily Clash Royale. I can promise you guys that. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Die, die. Okay, that should connect and I should win. I think I win. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think. What? We have a 7.3% chance of coming back. 
Never mind, I just went for the tower of the bridge. Never mind, never mind, I take that back. But anyhow, back to what I was saying. Uh, I'm gonna try to go back to daily uploading, but at the very least, I do every other day, which is still very fucking often. Hold on, he's got Pekka. That's not good. I'm gonna lighten that. Boom. Okay. Okay. Please get a shot. Yes, they got a shot. Oh my god, thank the lord. Also, I have a level 15 archer, so I think that actually full counters it. And my tower is... Oh my god, that actually full counters it. You know, actually, think about it. It wasn't even that long. <laughs> he has a Mega Knight and a P.E.K.K.A. What the fuck is going on? Hopefully, he goes P.E.K.K.A. Damn, he doesn't. He does! Idiot! Okay, he has to tornado the king. But... You suck! Bro, I'm actually getting secondhand embarrassment from how much he sucks dick. Yeah, no, you can probably tell that it's, uh, it's end season. And, uh... Top ladder? Well, this isn't even top ladder. What am I talking about? Uh, any league other than high ultimate champion is uh, mid ladder, pretty much. I'm in mid ladder. It's crazy. I suck. You know, now that my quote unquote pro clash route career is uh, far from over, not far from over actually, because I can probably easily still get like a top 1k finish, but uh, it's in the past for the time being. Let's reflect on what I've done. So, uh, 358 finish. I've done all of this stuff uh, before uh, Before Path of Legends, by the way. Just want to put that out there. I only have one top 1k finish in uh, Path of Legends because that was when I was already on the brink of retirement. Yeah, no, my 358 finish, it was my first time I hit 8k trophies. I remember that. And uh, it was jolly, man. And uh, no Evos, no uh, no weird shit, no tower <laughs> troops. It was just good old-fashioned Clash Royale, man, with my MK Loon deck. This exact MK Loon deck that you're seeing right now. And I'm so fucking proud of that because uh, I didn't need evolutions. I didn't need high levels because I think the tower cap then was like level 13? Or maybe it was level 14, I don't remember. You know, I really can't believe I stuck with the same damn deck all these years, man. I don't know. It's, it's honestly just good. It just works. It's never really seen like a bad meta. It's seen tough metas. Like the golem metas are absolute cancer. But it's never really seen like a straight up bad meta. The golem metas are one of those metas that every match you just have to just try so hard in. And it's annoying. But it's still winnable, you know. You just have to kind of play almost perfectly every match. I remember my regimen for like uh, pushing ladder. I would do like one or two matches a day. I would push up to like top 100. And then, uh, well, like top 500. And I wasn't really those players who would just stay up and just grind the game like for 20 fucking hours a day. Well, when I two, I would. But if I don't two, my goal is uh, just one to two matches uh, every single day. Just maintain my rank, basically. Because that was about uh, how many matches you needed to do uh, to maintain your rank if you were top like 500. It was like a job. Every single day I have to wake up and just have to do like a couple matches of ladder and pray that I didn't get a shitty matchup. Oh my god, thinking back, I got so fucking mad. Oh my god, all the times I took tilting like 800 trophies to 1000 trophies in one sitting absolutely like cancer just smashing my phone smashing the wall smashing my siblings uh, i think he's fucked yeah i'm just gonna lie in that uh what i'm looking forward to though genuinely is uh evo valk now am i looking forward to playing against it fuck no but i am looking forward to using it although i will be kind of upset to leave evo archers i would argue it's better than evo knight for the most part although i guess evo knight could still work as well they both work it's really circumstance based but i think for the most part you can get more bang for your buck with the evo archers uh unless they just have like the perfect counter Unless it's smart, basically, is what I'm trying to say. If they're smart and they know how to defend it with the right troops, uh, which, thank God, I'm not playing against those players right now because I'm able to commentate perfectly. If I'm able to commentate perfectly, you know damn well that these players are absolute garbage. So uh, we get two towers, twin towers. Uh, we're one match away from world champion, so we'll just get there and then uh, I'll push the ultimate champion in the next video with some other shit lined up. Oh, my God. Okay, so... um. He just went graveyard at the bridge first play with Valk and hit me with a good luck. What? You know, these are the kind of players that make me wonder, am I gay? Wait, hold on a second. If he nados my balloon to his king tower again, I'm just gonna start spell cycling his king tower. Because I have a level 15 balloon, so I can definitely help. But uh, if he's smart, next time he would just nado here to here, so all three towers can help out. But that's not even being smart, it's just being logical. I guess we'll see, though. Uh, Hopefully, I can get like a nice nice deep connection so he's gonna have to make it like a split second tornado play and hopefully he does the same and pulls at the king because honestly i'm gonna go for that king tower i kind of want a three crown splash up player so here's my goal right i want to go balloon and i know for a damn fact that he's gonna try to protect that tombstone because he wants to nato so i'm gonna do arrow and just prevent the nato yeah nail the king please yes yes that instant kicked in yes yes oh my god one more shot oh my god he's stupid <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna lightning cycle him. Wait, four, six, two. I'm gonna lightning cycle him. I win. Wait, you know what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm lightning cycling his ass. I'll see lightning blocks right here. That would be kind of sad. But I'm just gonna wait for him to go graveyard. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna wait for him to do graveyard. Okay, good game. Uh, he got three crown without a single tower getting taken. Um, this goes to show how amazing these players are. But we have a new league, world champion. I'm sure it won't get any better from here. But uh, yeah, I'll continue this in the next video. Hit ultimate champion in the next video, cause uh, why not? I haven't done any MK Loon pushing in a solid minute, and uh, I'm actually enjoying it now because <laughs> these guys suck, man. <laughs> these guys suck. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, 17 in a row. I only lost this one because, because um, I, I lagged out, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, this was the one where I was playing on two devices at the same time. Oh, that was funny. Go watch that shorts if you want. It's probably out right now. I don't know how to do outros anymore. Um, bye.